When he has said enough, he has said <laughs> enough. Sandra, that's the way it goes. Well, as millions of Americans are set to receive the COVID-19 vaccination, the U.S. government wants to be able to access and share information on recipients, saying it's critical in the response to the pandemic. But a federal database now raising concerns over privacy. Mark Meredith is live for us in Washington. Mark, good morning to you. How concerned should people be? Well, Trace, the government doesn't think there's much reason for concern, but others aren't so sure. Now, these state and local governments with vaccinations underway really face a gargantuan task of trying to track their progress. When Americans go to get vaccinated, they are going to be getting a physical vaccination card. That's going to be one key in all of this, but also the state and federal officials are going to be relying to collect ec uh, electronic data on who's being immunized and when. The head of the American Immunization Registry Association tells Fox News Americans can be rest assured that material like social security numbers, private medical data from past years is not going to be widely collected. As these systems have been developed, we've purposely excluded a number of features that would actually make it um, more inclusive of, of certain conditions, so like HIV status or, or something that might make somebody um, a candidate for more immunizations, but we don't want that information in the system for those very reasons. The CDC has faced some questions, though, from governors and others about the safety of its data. It's being requested as well as whether or not that data could eventually be used against some people. Privacy experts we checked with say it makes sense for people to want to limit what data is collected and stored. I think that data, once it's out there, can never come back. That's why I'm one of these people who's really very strongly supports collecting and utilizing the minimum amount of data to accomplish a specific process and nothing more. So that's the government route, but there are still so many questions about what travel will look like, events will look like in 2021, whether or not you'll have to present some sort of pass on your mobile device to get into something like that. Private companies are working on those apps to show people proof of vaccination, but what kind of data will be stored and is it going to be safe? That's a question that still has yet to be answered. Trace? Yep, a lot of unknowns, but the world is definitely changing. Mark Meredith, Life Force in D.C.